name is Kevin Kelly and I had the pleasure of addressing your audience on the subject of exceptional execution. Very simply, we always try to move from ideas to execution. That was the theme of the speech. Some years back, I read some research which looked at all the major breakthrough companies around America. It was done by Amor Vidi of Columbia University. And what he found was something that really fascinated me. He found that 88% of the breakthrough companies over the previous decade were the result of exceptional execution of an ordinary idea. 12% were new inventions. Most audiences for me around the world, you find that most of us, including myself, are in the ordinary idea business. So I set myself the challenge of, okay, how do we move from ordinary idea to exceptional execution? So I did further research on that then, and researched some of the top startups around the globe, and I identified what I describe as four pillars of exceptional execution. Very briefly, if I can go through those, we looked at the importance of delivering quality attention to customers and co-workers. In an attention deficit society, where attention is at a premium, if you are able to listen, give back people their product as I described today, uh, convert your customers into friends and other strategies like that, you will become a breakthrough company. So number one was the power of quality attention. Number two was the importance of self-awareness. In 2007, Stanford Business Advisory Committee said that self-awareness was the most important attribute a leader should develop. So we talked about that trip. We talked about key issues like the fact that the majority of people their problem isn't solving a problem, the problem is seeing it. So we looked at how to improve our eyesight, as it were, to remove the cloud in our mind so that we can see clearly. And when you see clearly, it's one of potential and possibility. So the third um, pillar of exceptional execution is the importance of the ability to believe that everybody is your teacher, and I mean everybody, and to commit to lifelong learning from everybody. And what I described in the keynote today was very simply how I built a world brand on a shoestring by adopting that philosophy. So no matter who I am, where I am, who I'm talking to, I believe that there is a potential teacher in front of me. This is a major energetic shift for some people, but it will transform their business. If you're in front of a customer and the customer knows that you are truly there to serve them, to help them, uh, to bring them along a journey, trust me, that's a much better place than if you're there and thinking it's a transaction. I give, you receive end of story. The fourth aspect of exceptional execution is what I've found about all these companies. Some of them were dreamers, but all of them were doers. And one thing I've learned from my own life is this is, don't bog yourself down, don't weigh yourself down with overanalyzing. Do it. And the journey will bring you to a place you describe and recognize as better than your starting point. All these companies I interviewed in the main were doers. Many of them hadn't got a good idea, most of them had no money, some of them had no knowledge in the industry they went on to dominate, and some of them even hadn't a business plan. So that just shows you the possibility of doing. I'm honoured to have been voted the top speaker, I'm really happy about that, but as I said in the room, it's not really about how they feel after my speech. What to me it's about is after three months time or six months time that they've used some of those idea to their benefit and hopefully to the benefit of their bottom line, to the benefit of customer and employee engagement. You are running a very successful program because it's not just a talk shop, it is about doing and that's what it's all about. I really, really enjoyed it and I enjoyed it on different levels. I enjoyed it because there was a great buzz and energy and I have to say that when you got them to participate, it was a bit of a deal maker. They want to participate and of course that honours what I talked about. Attention is the most powerful business drug in the world. So I'm allowing them, them the opportunity to participate. The participation was excellent, the questioning I found very, very strong and of course I was challenged as well which was brilliant because I totally agree with the fact that I am standing in front of an audience and I need to be able to be the message, to walk the talk, to prove beyond all reasonable doubt that yes, I have been there and I can share my learnings with you. And it was fantastic by the gentleman to be challenged on that and okay, show me the money, tell me specifically what have you done. And luckily I have done what I said, I have broke sales records across industries, I have written five books, I am working with some of the top corporations around the world. 
and it's refreshing that I was challenged on that. So I thought the level was very high, very good participation, very strong questions. Um, so I was impressed with that because that's what I want. I suppose, in fairness, um, you have all these executive programs around the world, but let's be realistic about it. There's very few in Medina. Medina is steeped in history, and if I'm being very, very honest, I wanted to come here more than anything else because I know the history, and it might be a journey I may never take again. Hopefully it will be, clearly, but it may, may have been a journey. It's full of history. It's full, it's an amazing place to visit. So clearly, when you add Medina, to a program that brings in some of the top minds around the world for your participants, you have a very nice cocktail here and it's not going to be able to be copied very much. So I suppose this, the challenge I give Mile, push the boundaries, to challenge the participants, to build community, to, as I said in the audience, I think that this community is full of very bright, bubbly, intelligent, enthusiastic people. If you can keep that community together and grow it, it will help all the members to grow together. As I said, they can stand on the shoulder of greats. This is fantastic. So the challenge for, my, for me is, is to keep that community, to grow it, to build it, and to keep bringing in great content that challenges them.